40 years now. The case bothers me because it's one of those that I got to be on. And I know that somebody has information. And it's always in the back of our mind every now and then. We pick up the file and look at it. There just isn't anything new to go on. I don't know much about cars, so I came to Stalk's Auto Repair Shop to learn what it takes to be an auto mechanic. difficult. I mean, that's just the way that it is. I've seen how it affects families, you know, the weight, not knowing whether or not justice will ever be brought. has never allowed her intellectual disability to limit her. She's been participating in the Special Olympics. Mechanicsburg is a small town, and to this day, this remains the police department's only cold case. Welcome to Recycle Bicycles. If the brakes don't work, it's no good to anybody. What a mitigated mess. I have mourned him so many times. Did he go out for a run and something happened to him? Did he go out to his bosses and, you know, did something with them? It's been more than nine months since 19-year-old Caden Black disappeared from Lower Windsor Township. More than nine months since Kara Patterson has seen her son. Work to try to put that person who was responsible for ending somebody else's life in prison. George worked with District Attorney Fran Chardo on a high-profile cold case years ago. So when the DA approached him with the idea... So I had jumped at the opportunity. It's no secret these unsolved cases have unique challenges. Time passing is a big thing. People's memories fade. Time kind of gets compressed. Experience in doing them really helps. With those challenges also comes new opportunities. People's loyalties change. What do we have to do now? All right, we're gonna bring it down part way and we're gonna start working on the brakes. What we're gonna need is somebody who's conscious. Starts to bother it. Rusty deserves to know who hit him. Alyssa Kratz, Fox 43 News. Stand up, stand in front of your dogs. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Four Paws for a Cause in York County had humble beginnings. Try that a couple times. We started a little over two years ago with three dogs. By the end of September, we'll be close to 100. Service dog has to be more obedient than any other dog. You can tell a fake service dog by their obedience. The service dog has to ignore all distractions. Very good, very good. Not only has Dana worked hard to make Alpaca Fiber Designs a success, 
but she's also helping other individuals with special needs forge their way into the workforce. Just to see her over the past 10 years evolve with the Special Olympics, with this business, her independence, the other journey that she led us on the past year, she has now moved out into an apartment. She has a roommate. So again, the growth that she has shown, we are extremely proud and we, and we love her. And Dana and her family remain grateful to those who have helped along the way. The people that have surrounded us with the support and love, that says it all. He, he kind of has quite a personality, you know, some days he's just a real grumpy old man that doesn't want to do what you're telling him. The last run was perfect, and now this run, it's shredding this up, it's shredding that up. And then there's other days he's a toddler where you're staring at him exactly like this, does everything right, and then I step over to weigh out a packet, and then... Rip, 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 rip. <laughs> I feel like I'm in like a Looney Tune skit sometimes. The original patents for this machine actually started out in 1895. The original machine at that time period would have been called the brown bagging machine. So we believe the particular model in front of us right here would have been about 1930s, 1940s. We named it Boris Karloff. It was kind of a little bit of a joke because it was kind of cobbled together and it's green, sort of like one of his famous roles. And it's part of the reason why when days are really bad, I don't just take a hammer or try my best to throw them out the window back there. So we pour our seeds in here. They'll come on down and into our drum. What we're gonna do is we're gonna give it just a little spin. This sort of gets the seeds going through, removes all the seeds out of the funnel here. The seeds will come on down into the packet. And then if everything goes right, it will be folded by the little folders right here. And then make its way along here, down our little bed here, hopefully smoothly, not always. I've learned 3D printing and a little bit of 3D software modeling that I've been able to replace a couple small pieces here and there. It's sort of a sometimes stressful but very accomplishing feeling when it is running, knowing that you are keeping it up and running and keeping it alive. When the uh, lows are low, they are low, and I have been known to be found on the floor just staring at it blankly, going, oh boy, what happened today? Yeah, working back here can be a real seedy business sometimes. <laughs> Don't worry, the humor might grow on you.